people it's me again this is going to be part two now this one's going to be entitled sex game sigma alpha men and women the use versus the misuse of money in the sex dating game now i apologize if that's a long title for a video i mean i really do apologize if that's a long title of a video sometimes i like to be unpredictable i like to think outside the box, be very creative, try not to copycat or imitate other content creators here on YouTube. Too many titles look the same. So I sometimes might shorten the title. I sometimes might make it longer. I know y'all like, well, damn, he, he came with another title. It, it, I mean, I'm just trying to be creative here. I'm trying to make my content more easier because when I say you're supposed to be the best of the best, you're supposed to be the best of the best. Now, let's get into the second half of this video, shall we? Now, in the sex dating market, there are two types of people. There are winners. There are losers. Winners are people who give it all they have, 100%. In some cases, 110%. And then you have losers who give out excuses, excuses, excuses for everything. They don't want to accept the fact that they failed, they made a mistake. So they so they do the only thing that's easy. They blame, they play the blame game, right? They blame everybody. This is something that I did in high school, very beta, when I was in high school. Even in college, very beta. And so I got my ass kicked in the basketball game and got a motivational speech from a friend of mine who told me, you got excuses for everything. And I actually did get my ass kicked in the basketball game like 14 years ago. But thank the point. The point is, there are winners, there are losers. And winners always try to find better ways to self-improve winning. Okay, I won, but what other ways could I have done to win more? Because the first time I won, I'm not going to win the same way. Losers just find more ways to lose. Now, let's take it from the Sigma male approach in the sex dating market. The Sigma male, the bad boy, the player, the Sigma male, does go out to nightclubs, does go out to bars, and he does talk to all types of women. Women he finds physically sexually attractive, women that are okay looking, and women that are on an occasion good looking. We're not going to say ugly because that's rude and disrespectful, so we're going to say on an occasion good looking women, good looking women, and women he find very physically sexually attractive. A lot of times the Sigma male is selective. The Sigma, the Sigma male, the bad boy, the player, the Sigma male, he don't just go to every single female that he sees at the nightclub and the bars. He tries to fill them out, see which ones to talk to, so he doesn't make the mistakes that the beta male makes. And he tries to be more responsible with his money. Like, he might buy a girl a drink, he may not, it's 50-50. So the Sigma male might sit in the bar or nightclub for 20 to 30 minutes to fill it out. Do I like the music? Do I don't like the music? Do I like the atmosphere? Do I don't like the atmosphere? This is before he makes his move to talk to the girl. Now, most of the time, the Sigma male does get a lot of attention from the women. But, the Sigma male also knows when enough attention's enough. That's the Sigma male with his money in the sex dating market. It might be three months. It might be six months. Eventually, you see him at the nightclub in the bar. You know, he might drive a motorcycle, a truck. He might have a leather jacket on. He might be the guy that's on YouTube making videos like me. And then you see him, and he's a completely different person. That's the Sigma male. He's what you don't expect. Now, the beta male, on the other hand, he... You hear about the beta male all the time on YouTube. He's terrible with his money at the nightclubs and the bars. He tries way too hard. He tries to talk to every girl at the nightclub and at the bar. This is also one of my bad habits. Um, and he will try to get every phone number. And he doesn't seem to understand that when a woman doesn't find him physically sexually attractive... He doesn't understand it. He, he doesn't get it. You know, he has a hard time accepting you got to learn how to have fun first before a woman can say, okay, I'll give you a shot. 
So you'll see the beta male stay in the nightclub for two hours, three hours, four hours, and you'd be like, God, you'd be like, damn, what's wrong with this beta male man? And then if it gets that bad, he'll go to the strip club and get thrown out of the strip club because he can't understand the rules of what you're supposed to do. That's the beta male. Now, you will catch the Cigna bad boy, the Cigna player, the Cigna male. You will catch him on an occasion go to the strip club. Usually, that's a business arrangement. He might be signing a contract to do a movie or a television show. Or he might be talking to the car mechanic about fixing his car, his truck, his motorcycle. That, that turns like into a business arrangement for the Cigna male. So when the Cigna male goes to the nightclubs or the bars or go see a Dama Matrix or go to the golf club, usually the Cigna male does that because that's how he does his business. Like if he's big, like if he's popular and he's doing a business with another guy, they might go to that location because they agree that's where they're going to, you know, have drinks. And then you see those pictures on Facebook. A lot of time those guys are, are having drinks. They're talking about business. So that's how the Sigma male conducts business. The beta male just comes into the atmosphere and tries to get every girl he can get. And when the girls go, no thank you, and the beta male is the one that gets slapped in the face, punched, hit, kicked, and thrown out by security. Now, I'm not saying the Sigma male don't get thrown out because I've seen some bad boys I've seen some players, I've seen some Sigma males every once in a while mess up. Now, have I messed up at a nightclub? Yes, I have. Maybe on four different occasions, I have messed up. I'll give you a good example. Um, 2019, last year, I went to the golf club in Hollywood. And there was this black girl that was golf, and I did find her physically sexually attractive. Now, I didn't do too much drinking, and I didn't talk to every girl, but for whatever reason... It just wasn't my day to get that girl's attention. She didn't feel me. She didn't like me. And why is it kept close? She tricked me because she signaled me to talk to her. And then no sooner she signaled me, then she changed her mind and said, oh, that's okay. That's all right. I'm good. And, you know, I, I basically took a, 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 a an ale, as they say in sports, I took an ass whooping. So don't think that just because I said bad boys and players... And Sigma males don't ever get rejected. We do, okay? It happened to me four times at the nightclub. It happened to me last year. So don't think that because I said bad boys and players don't get it, we do get rejected. You may not see it, but it does actually happen to the Sigma male. But here's the difference between the Sigma male and the Abeta male. The Abeta male gets rejected all the time. The Sigma male do sometimes get rejected and sometimes don't. Sometimes the Sigma male's at the nightclub and bar. Sometimes the Sigma male's not at the nightclub and bar. Sometimes the Sigma male is at the strip club. Sometimes the Sigma male is not at the strip club. The beta male, he's everywhere. And when you ask the beta male, what is your purpose for being there besides coming to see the girls, the beta male usually can't even give you an, an intellectual answer for why he's there. And usually that's the guy who has a hard time paying his bills. Usually that's the guy who blames everyone for his problems. And this is my favorite one. He always makes it seem like it's the bad boys and the alpha male's fault for his failure of not getting women. Yeah, the, the, the beta male does that in this atmosphere. Now that I explain them to, let's get to the approach of the Sigma female. Now the Sigma female is selective too. The Sigma female is just like the male version of her counterpart. She's selective. She don't just talk to any man. She has to first fill the environment out. Do she find the men physically sexually attractive or not? Are the men worth her time or not worth her time? If a guy say something she like, she'll signal. If she don't like what she, what she sees, then it's bye-bye, see you later. And the Sigma female has a rule. She might stay there for about an hour, maybe an hour and 30 minutes. The Sigma female don't stay there for no two hours, three hours, or four hours. She usually leaves after an hour if the nightclub sucks. And I've seen plenty of badass, fine-ass looking 
fe- um, Cigna females just leave. The music sucks. This club sucks. This place blows. I'm out. I've seen it with my own two eyes. So that's the Cigna female. Now let's get to the alpha female. The alpha female is most likely to um, 